Well, hi there, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Real Estate Investing. I'm your host, Sharon Vornholt, and I'm so happy you're here today. I have been seeing a pattern lately where people tell me they are stuck, or maybe they feel stagnant. They can't seem to move forward. And today I wanted to talk about this and show you a way that you can get unstuck. So how do you do that? What exactly does it take for you to change your reality? And what are the first steps to making life altering change? And that's for any life altering change. And I'm going to take you through a step by step process today that will help you figure out your next step. And I have a PDF, um, a guide with steps on it that you can do on your own time. You can download it and work through the process on your own. So, okay, here we go. Number one is to determine where you are today. And it's important that you write this out. Now, you may talk about the money you're making. You might talk about the number of deals you're doing. You might talk about marketing all of those things. But in addition, you should look at things like free time, uh, time to do what you want to do, and family time. So where are you today? What does your life look like? And if you're stuck, you, there's probably some area that is not in alignment. We'll just say that. So that's step number one is to get really honest about where you are today. No judgment here, just put it down. Now, number two is where do you want to go? What's your destination? Much like you would put down a destination for a vacation. And what are the stops in between? What do you want your life to look like in six months, one year, five years or beyond? So if you're putting down a plan for the next 12 months, then you might chunk that down into monthly steps using something uh, like the 12 week year. If you're planning out for two years, five years or longer, then you're going to have incremental stops. And it's okay to have a big plan. But right now, we're just talking about getting unstuck today and moving forward in the immediate, in the immediate uh, you know, future. So where do you want to go? What's your ultimate destination? You know, hustle, uh, I think it's Raphael Cortez says, hustle is a season, not a lifestyle. So if you want to make more money, that's great. If you want to do more deals, that's great. But I would challenge you to think about another way to increase your income, and that is to do more profitable deals. Let's say, for instance, you are a wholesaler, just to keep this really simple and you are used to making $10,000 on a wholesale uh, fee on a deal. What if you learned to buy properties a little bit better? Maybe you looked in a little bit different area and instead of making $10,000 on a wholesale de deal, you made 15. Now, depending on where you are, those numbers could be a lot bigger. If you are currently making $20,000 on a wholesale deal, what if you bump that up by 50% and make it your goal to uh, make $30,000 on a wholesale deal? So you wouldn't necessarily have to do more deals. You just have to do better deals. But you need to determine what does that look for you like for you? You know, do you want more money? Do you want more deals? What is it that you want? And what will get you to the lifestyle that you want? Number three is what do you want? Or what do you need to change now and down the road and be specific? Maybe this is habits. I've found very often that it's our habits that hold us back. And if you've ever read the book Atomic Habits, which I do recommend, it's a great uh, quick and easy read. You will learn that about this um, process he talks about in there of habit stocking, of attaching one habit to another habit. So if you get up in the morning and you typically have coffee and maybe you uh, zone out by getting on your email or whatever, maybe you need to get a new habit. If you want to have your coffee, you want to line out your day for the day, and but you want to exercise. And that's the thing you never get done. Maybe you need to attach the habit of exercise to the coffee and mapping out your day. So the point is you would start your day with your coffee map out your day, go exercise, and then come back and attack your day. And that will look like 
something different for everyone. Now, maybe you need a morning routine. I, I have found that that is critical to your day. And what I like to do is decide the night before what I'm going to do uh, the next day. And I find consistently that when I don't do that, when I don't get up and have a plan, uh, a routine for my morning, that's when the day kind of takes over and it, it's in charge of what happens. So if you have a plan, if you have some sort of a morning routine, and I'm not suggesting that you need to do uh, Hal Elrod's um, Miracle Morning. I'm not getting up at four o'clock in the morning. I know people that get up at four in the morning. It's it's who they are. But you can decide for yourself, what time do you want to get up? What are your most productive times? I know one person that sleeps in every morning till seven, eight, nine o'clock. Then he gets up, he's fresh, he gets up and he goes to work and he works late very often. So there's no one right way to do this, but you do need to decide on a routine. You need to uh, time block. And this is something I need to be better at myself. If I have certain things that I want to get done in a day, I need to be able to get up and knock those things out and then go back to email and those sorts of things. I have a bad habit of just picking up my phone with the intention of uh, checking email for a few minutes. I don't even get on the computer, but you know how that rabbit hole uh, goes when you do that. You just dive down the rabbit hole and you go someplace where you don't need to be and you're not, you're not getting done what you need to do. So look at your morning routine. Look at your habits. What do you need to change? What do you want to change? And it might be, you know, you need to do it. You haven't really wanted to do it, but you know, if you're going to have a different reality in your business, you need to do these things. Now, it might also be that you need to outsource some things. Maybe you're just trying to do too many of the low level tasks, and that's preventing you from doing the upper level tasks that you are suited for, like negotiating deals and things like that. So write it all down. What This is another exercise, and that is to write down all of the jobs you're doing in your business. What are all the, the tasks that, that need to get done and who's doing them and how many of those can you get rid of? So that's an important part of this too. So do that and then see how your life changes. Now, number four, and this is a big one, is what's your why? Why are you doing this? Why do you want to do this? And why do you need to do this? And this has to include a so that statement. And what does that look like? Well, let me give you an example. If you want more income, you want more time, you'll say, I'm going to do my marketing consistently every month so that I have leads coming in the door, which takes the pressure of making so, uh, money off of me. I need to uh, create systems in my business so that my days are not so hard. So you want to put down what you need to do so that and then the result. You will be surprised once you start doing this. It's not just about the money in real estate investing. It's about the lifestyle. It's about, for many people, passive income. You have to decide what, what it is that you want. How are you going to get there? What needs to change? And this is 100% generally on us to make these changes. Somebody's not going to swoop in and save us. So you need to figure this out. Now, number five, in the immediate future, how are you going to get there? What are the top three things that you need to change to get unstuck? Is it marketing? Is it habits? Is it um, a lack of focus? What are the three things that you need to work on? And there are probably 10 or 12 or more, but only pick three. Pick three things that for now and in the next 90 days, you can work on it to move your business forward. So think about that for just a minute. What are those three things? Now, number six, and this is one I always like to include, and that is who do you have to become to make these changes? The becoming part is about 
we have to change at our core. If we are not good at the details of things, maybe we're a visionary and we're not good at the details, we have to decide who do we have to become. Do we have to become the person who's in the season of hustle and you have to do these things whether or not you want to do them? Or maybe you need to become the person that can let go of perfection in your business and outsource some of the things. This is one uh, that I have trouble with. Uh, people often don't do things exactly like we would do them. And often they do them actually better than we do them once we let them go. So who do we have to become? Do we have to become the person who is focused on time blocking three or four hours a day off on their schedule every day so that you can have those hours later in the day to do what you want to do? Maybe you want to free up your mornings so that you can do uh, whatever it is that you want to do. So you'll put on your schedule, I'm going to have lunch if that's what you do in the middle of the day. And I'm going to focus from one o'clock to five o'clock on these things. So you can see how you can flip your schedule around whatever works for you and the way um, your circadian rhythm works in your body. So I, I hope this has been helpful for you. And I would love to hear your thoughts on, on the changes that you would make in your business. This will make your life easier. If you can figure this out and this exercise, if you can put aside 30 minutes, 45 minutes, however long it takes for you and do, do this exercise, you will get a lot of clarity as to where the roadblocks are in your business, where the roadblocks are as far as your days and, and your growth and being stuck or feeling like you're stuck. Maybe you just need to move some things around to get unstuck. Maybe that's it, as simple as it, as it really is going to get. So I would love to hear from you. Just send me an email, a sentence or two at Sharon at SharonBornholt.com and let me know what you could do, what three things you could do to get unstuck from where you are. And you might be tempted to say, well, I'm not really stuck. I'm just moving along. But I would challenge you to ask yourself, am I really? Am I really moving along the path that I want to be on? Or am I over here just a little bit kind of stuck in this place? So thanks for coming out this week. Don't forget to get your freebie. I will put that um, in the show notes, how to get that. And please share the show and leave us a rating and review over on iTunes. So I have two asks this week. Get your freebie and share the show and leave us a review and a rating over on iTunes. It helps people find us and I would really appreciate it. So I will see you same time, same place next week. Bye for now.